The Immigrant Women in Leadership Project supports ways in which women can fully participate in their workplaces and communities as leaders. The goal is to identify and take action on the systemic barriers immigrant women face in accessing equality of services. Meet now one of our four leaders for 2013. Thank you and congratulations on being a Leaders in Residence with Skills for Change funded through Status Women Canada. What's your project? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, so my project is essentially a fellowship uh, that is a leadership and a networking program for young immigrant women ages 20 to 26. And uh, the program has really three components. Uh, the first component is for the women uh, participants to meet women leaders uh, in uh, the t larger Toronto community. We have um, secured three uh, speakers so far. One of them is uh, Rana Amilvar, who is the president of Mintree. The second one is uh, Debbie Douglas, who is uh, the executive director at Okasi. And we've also secured uh, Uzma Shakir, who is a director um, within the city of Toronto. Uh, the second component of the program is for um, the participants or the fellows to write um, about their experiences as members of this fellowship. Uh, and they will write blogs, uh, they will engage uh, online and Really, um, with, uh, through this component, we want to uh, try and have conversations not just about leadership, but about other things, uh, other aspects of their lives that, where they may be experiencing challenges or barriers. And the third component will be to have um, the participants uh, attend um, talks uh, in, in Toronto. And so one of the talks that they will be attending is actually gender and a policy uh, seminar. And they'll be attending that at the School of Public Policy and Governance at the University of Toronto. So it'll be it'll be a great opportunity for them to uh, again uh, network with uh, the panelists that will be invited to that uh, to that seminar and learn about um, more learn about I guess the application of leadership skills and and some of the barriers that may not be media barriers in the communities but which are uh, which still represent larger systemic barriers to uh, women, especially immigrant women, um, becoming uh, leaders and, and being able to take full part in the communities. Great, thank you.